Hey, this is Pastor Dan with your Midweek Minute. You know, doing church online started in a hurry, or maybe I should say a flurry. We didn't know how long it would last, maybe a month or two at the most. Wow, were we wrong. I hate to even do the math. You know, I've got this little alert that pops up on my computer and it lets me know every time I need to plug my computer into its external hard drive and back up the disk. I left that external hard drive at the office and since then I've been working out of my home and you know we're closing in on like 150 days of ignoring that little alert. I probably should drive to the office and actually pick up the hard drive or you know spring for the online service and back it up to the cloud but <laughs> I'm forgetful and also a little stubborn. But speaking of being forgetful, it's always a little strange watching yourself deliver sermons on Sunday mornings, but I've gotten a little used to that experience. But one thing that I haven't gotten used to is, is just <laughs> recognizing when I make mistakes or when I forget to say something. And uh, in that spirit of errors and omissions, I wanted to tell you about what I meant to say this last Sunday. You know, in talking about how God rested from his work of creation, uh, I made the point that work and rest are connected. I know, it seems totally obvious. Um, but when we rest, it's so much easier to connect with the Lord. In fact, we're able to make space and uh, enter his presence so much easier. But in the beginning, even our work was a place that we felt connected to the Lord. Ever since humanity rebelled from God, our work has felt much more like toil. I mean, it's uh, there's no sense of the divine to say the least. And maybe your work does feel like heaven on earth, but for the rest of us, not so much. You know, within the Christian tradition, we understand that entering prayer is entering a place where God works. That's one reason why we call the daily liturgy of prayer is the daily office. It's God's workplace. It's his it's his office, the place where he gets stuff done. And on Sunday, I was trying to kind of draw out the connection between God's presence and the work of prayer and rest. And that's why I said, do you need to go to work? You know, do you need a little prayer workout or a place to exercise those prayer muscles? And that's what I meant to say, like many things in the Christian life, there's a little bit of a paradox involved. Going to work in prayer means entering God's rest. Or another way to look at it, entering God's rest allows us to accomplish the work of prayer. You know, being better at prayer is something that I've wanted and I've heard many Christians express something similar. Uh, but it's sometimes really, really hard to find the time or to feel like you're doing it justice. But as people, we're so good at compartmentalizing our day. You know, here's when I go to work, or here's when I exercise, here's when I pray. But maybe prayer doesn't have to be that way. I had a friend tell me once, you know, our whole day is lived in God's presence. And so all of our life is prayer. You know, that may be a little weird to think about, especially, especially when you're yelling at your kids or something like that. But maybe not all of our day is holy, but we're on a journey and learning to pray without ceasing means actually learning how to cease. You know, no matter how frantic your day gets, you at any moment can take a deep breath, remind yourself that God is near and dwell with him in prayer. You know, what you pray for doesn't really matter. Maybe it's the beauty of nature, the, the laugh of a baby, the touch of a loved one. Maybe it's just simply having gratitude for all God has provided or saying a prayer, asking God to provide. It doesn't matter. But please remember that your heavenly Father above invites you to join him in his daily work and rest. Let's worship, this, uh, worship him this week as we go our way each and every day. God bless you. See you next week.